What is good everybody? In today's video we're going to be going over the four women's figures that I have in my collection that I have yet to unbox. I'm going to unbox and review these bad boys real quick, or should I say bad girls. Um, and we're going to start off with the Queen, Charlotte Flair. And as you can see, this is the sole reason why I picked her up, was that right there. Um, this baby open. All right, let's see. Now I heard what this figure. It was supposedly supposed to be a defining moments, but that got scrapped, and they still went ahead and released it anyways. Uh, so that's why we have the robe. So I will always take a defining defining moments level robe for the price that we're paying. Or well, I paid. I'll take any figure of the price I paid, but at a price of normally to have the fig that we have here, I think is absolutely insane. So yeah. Let's see, she is kind of oh, that's a nice a little touch on the back there. Uh, let's see. Get her on the thing but it's tied up in here so it doesn't go anywhere all right let's see what we're working with here with miss charlotte okay so like i said this is a defining moments level figure so it's it's gonna have the detail um tattoos are there that's a, a big thing of mine if you guys haven't really been able to tell already i love when they add tattoo detail um, I know on Instagram I mentioned how that new Batista figure that's coming out has the tattoo on his thigh, and I'm really hyped for that. And then same with the Charlotte. You know, you got the you got the wrist, the heart on the wrist. Um, I believe you have the yep. You have part of the cross down there as well. You guys can see that. Um, but yeah, solid figure. I mean, I'm probably gonna keep the robe on her, obviously, just because it's an awesome robe. Like that is that is great. And we don't really get too many good quality robes. Uh, the Rick Rubin was not bad uh, from that earlier release series, and the entrance great Bobby Rude one wasn't too bad. Um, I think it could have been a little bit better. It's not as good as I thought it could have possibly been. But keep Miss Charlotte over there. Go ahead and get Miss Cross opened up here. And we also have her other tag team partner over here, Miss Alexa Bliss. So we will get these gals both open at the same time. And then we'll get the man all squared away as well. So let's realign these boxes real quick. Okay. So, Miss Nikki, get your tape off here. her first figure as well. Um, sadly, it's her Sammy figure when they're no longer together, even though they are a very solid team and they just never use them right, which seems to be a common theme in the movie. But, I digress. So, uh, looking at this first detail, the detail is quite honestly very very good and let's see is this is this slide off let's see yeah it does okay that pops off let's see the attire all right it's a basic nikki attire um again not too bad i mean i think the pant detail is that solid um great design a sweet design on the back uh, let's see, head scan, head scan's not bad either, I mean, I think the hair could have been of a different, I don't, I don't know, I mean, it's not bad, it's not, you know, 
I can't really complain about that too much, but I think the hair sculpt could have been better, in my opinion. Keep her, let's get her accessories on real quick for you guys. I believe, I'll throw the glasses on first. Okay. Well, I can tell you, she looks better with those on. We'll say that. And then this. Can I go on? Can I go on? All right. So, yeah, that is Nikki. I'll suit it up. Right. Put her back with Charlotte. I do like the height, too. I know, you know, Nikki is obviously shorter. You can see the height difference between the two there. Right. And then fan favorite, Alexa Bliss. Uh, my Walgreens, ironically, just got these all in. So this is why I even have these two in the first place, because my Walgreens just now got them, which is, should show you how slow my Walgreens is. Peter Fury here comes with her title. Okay. And there goes that. Okay, so this head scan I think is a lot better than the original Alexa head scan that we've gotten before. Um, the glove detail that is awesome. Having the gloves. And then she can actually hold something too, so if we wanted to put her in a match, she could definitely hold on to something. Uh, swivel's good, joints are good. Um, knee movement is not bad. Um, I do know we're getting double jointed knees from now on. Um, the, the new Becky's gonna have the new double jointed knees, the, the man Becky that was announced at Comic Con. So that will be an upgrade, but um, really solid likeness knocked out of the park with this one i will say that and just again the detail on the attire is always something i'm looking forward to and mattel definitely killed it with this Get her. let's see if we can pose her up real quick I don't know how you people do this. I see other people doing that. All right, that's good enough. You get the idea. Again, women's figures are never easy to stand up. And last but not least, the man, Becky Lynch. Had to hide my Seth Rollins because, you know, he gets really excited when the man comes around. So, had to put those guys away because didn't really need them jumping into the, taking over the other video like they seemed to the last time I did a Rollins video. I don't miss these old style of packaging really don't. The new box style definitely was the way to go. It was a solid choice by Mattel. Um, let's see. Their title. Right, let's see here. So again, another solid attire. Um, hair sculpt is pretty good. They even have the they threw the braid in, um, that piece there, her belt buckle, that's solid. And you got a good design on the bootay. Let's see if we got a... 
again see i wish we had you know if we had the double joint neil neumann it'd be great and i'm glad we're getting it finally it took way too long uh, i'm glad the women's figures even got are starting to get the respect they deserve because uh, women honestly sometimes even have better matches than half the men so there's that uh, let's see moves pretty well joints are great hands can i think could be better i mean it's it's you know i can see the likeliness i can see it um but i think Alexa and Charlotte definitely came out better than the Becky. I will say that. Um, I do feel like her hair. I know it used to be this light. Um, I feel like a, a tad of a shade darker could have done better with it. But you know, who am I talking? So. All right, let's line these gals up and give you my grades for them. All right, so I think overall, favorite figure out of the set honestly has to be the Alexa. I think they definitely killed that one the most. Um, the likeliness, the attire, again, it's a very basic attire, but still a solid job. Um, the robe attire with Charlotte, it's awesome. So I'd probably give this like a seven out of 10. This is probably six and a half out of 10. I, mean, I think they could have been, I wish she had a title. I you know it's asking a bit much, but she if she came with the Divas title, it would have been awesome. Um, Nikki, I, honestly, I think for her first figure and how well that looks, probably a solid seven as well. And then Becky, I just, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the attire. It wasn't bad for what they were going for. I just wish, again, I wish they had the double jointed knees. It would be awesome. I know we're getting it, but, you know, I think it's solid six. I'd say for the women in general, six, six and a half for all of these. Definitely could have done a bit of a better job, but for what they are, they came out very well. Um, so yeah guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.